Hola mis serenitas, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Chiquita Serenita and today we're doing a tutorial or review and swatches of the entire collection of Alamar's Encanto, okay? I bought the whole dang thing. Like, <laughs> I've had it for a while. I'm not gonna lie, I had it for a while. When it first launched, that's when I bought it. Y'all already know it was way before the movie started. They had the whole thing um, out and selling. And I just knew, something inside me told me, like, grab that if you can, girl, because it's going to sell out or it's going to start selling out quick. As soon as the movie comes and people start catching on to the movie, right, people were going to fall in love with the movie. Like, I knew. I knew my Latino was going to come through. Like, <laughs> I honestly love the movie. You guys, I'm not playing. If anybody's out there, please leave me a comment if you're on the same boat as me. Like, we're on day 127 of there we don't talk about bruno okay <laughs> i swear after i saw that movie like the first time because i was making popcorn for the kids i got like candy for them and i and i gave them like you know snacks to snack on i didn't get to see it but then the first second time i watched it i was like we don't talk about oh my god you guys it got stuck in my head it was worse than baby shark do 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 like <laughs> I was so mad at myself. I was like, y'all stop playing that movie. I got it stuck in my head. <laughs> so I'm going to start by showing you guys the palette. But I don't do the swatches until like the end of every other product that I do. I, I'm going to try to remember to put time swatches in the description box. But if I don't, you guys, please don't get mad at me. I'm a very busy mom. I barely had enough time to do a tutorial today. And I'm literally like busy with my kids all the time. So if I can, I will. If I don't have enough time, I'm a one woman show. I record my own stuff. I edit my own stuff. Nobody literally helps me do anything, okay? I do my own thing. And I have to cook for my husband. And I have to cook all for all these five kids, okay? But it comes like this. This is the palette. The palette is super cute, you guys. I love how Disney... I love how Alamar did this. Because I've seen some company do Disney so wrong. It's just... It doesn't live up to the expectation of not just the packaging but the quality of the shadows and stuff like that alamar came through like 100 percent came through and said i did that <laughs> the back is is a little message that i want to read out to you guys because i just love that what it says it says just like alamar cosmetics itself whose namesake comes from our founder's hometown in cuba our disney encanto eyeshadow palette is inspired by the magic of home this collection of colors is a homage to the three things that make disney's encanto so magical Colombia with its unique and boundless beauty, family whose love keeps us grounded in who we are, and the inner magic that comes from loving yourself unconditionally. Dip into our rich and buttery metallics and bring out the glow from within. Ground your work with our long wear mats for dimensional looks and that are sure to leave your lasting impression. Now, I'm a Disney freak. Like, I have no shame of saying that. I'm 39 and I'm a Disney freak. Like, I've been watching disney movies since i was a little girl so i'm a huge huge fan of their stuff and i love every time like oh my god you guys it's so hard for me every time something disney comes out like i'm especially it doesn't even have to be makeup really it could be a freaking shirt with ariel on it like i want that <laughs> the palette is like i said this is when you take it out it has the same message on the back it just says home is where the magic is when you open it up, it has a really nice big mirror. And the, the mirror does say home is where the magic is in the corner. These are the tones. Y'all, the tones are super, like, good quality. Gorgeous. The mattes blend out beautifully. And I had no problems with the shimmers. Just letting you guys know, like, I want to do the swatches right now. Okay, so I'm going to move on to the first little thing in here. And I want to start with the eyeliners because I want to get that out of the way to talk to you guys the experience I had with the eyeliners okay so these are the two eyeliners it says spread your wings liquid liner and both of these are different tones so the top one is a green and then this one is a lilac the name of the green is called emerald eterno um, eternal emerald if you want to call it that and when you take it out of the box this is what the actual one looks like right and then I'm going to tell you guys that this is a gorgeous, gorgeous metallic green with glitter in it. It is between these two, I recommend the green more. I have it on right now. And if you guys make it to my tutorial, you guys will see a close up of my actual look. But I want to tell you guys that this stains like <laughs> now when I was doing my tutorial, I gave a little like 
you know, swatch, and you see that little blubber of green right there? <laughs> that is what was left after I tried to clean up the swatch. I'm almost, I don't want to do a swatch right there in that same spot, so I'm going to do it on the inside of my hand because I know I don't have to do swatches on the inside of my hand anymore. Like, you guys see that little glitter? Do you guys see the glitter in there? Um, please tell me you guys do. That looks, it looks gorgeous in person. It just has this metallic shimmer of green in there. And on the eye, I love that it stands out on its own, right? I've had so many experiences where anything green that has to do with a makeup collection, right? They sell it. And you just can't tell. You can't tell you even have it on. Because there's so much green on your eye that it doesn't stand out. This bee stands out. You will not have any problems with it standing out from the other eyeshadows that you have on your eye. Like I have that little shimmer green right here. And then I have that darker emerald green on the side because I wanted to create a halo eye look. And then I put this on top. And I don't know if you guys could tell. But you can tell that it's on there. That it stands out on its own. If you guys make it to my tutorial, like I said, you will be able to see it. Because I give like a huge close up so you guys can see all the details. Um, but yeah, I... And then the, the, the lilac one is called Lilac Sin Limites. Sin Limites means without limits. And it's just this pale, y'all see it's a pale pink, like purple. Um, good for someone who likes like maybe Easter pastel type of um, lilac. I honestly didn't like it. I didn't like it. You, If you guys make it to my tutorial, you're going to see that I tried to do like a little flower on my face. And it's patchy. It, it does not apply well. Like you try to do it several times. It kind of dries and gets crusted over. And I don't know if it was flaking off or if it was just me. I don't know if I was tripping or smoking some good stuff. I don't know what to tell you. But I don't really recommend this one. But at the end of the day, it's your money. You spend it how you want to. Don't listen to me. If, I, if you like this lilac color, go for it. Do not listen to me. I'm just telling you my own experience. And hopefully, if it helps you save some money, then don't, you know, save some money. Because Lord knows these companies are popping out new collections like literally every other week or every week. And if you could save for something that you really want that's coming up, you know, then do that. Don't bother doing all of this, right? So I'm going to move on to the next product. <laughs> So, you guys, I want to talk about these um, brush sets, right? They have them separated. This is what the boxes come in. They come like this. So, the first box, let me see. The first box says, My Best Self Duo. And it is a complexion brushes. I'm everything complexion brush. Just like you, our complexion brush is everything. Use this brush for creams, powders, liquids. This is vegan. Synthetic bristles will blend your complexion products to perfection. I am the light highlight brush. Do not, don't find the light, be the light. Use our I'm the light highlight brush with our highlighter. Let that glow you have within see shine through. Now, this one came with two brushes, right? I have them right here. I did not use these brushes yet because I haven't done like the blush or the highlighter, you know, demonstration. But these are so freaking pretty. Oh my God, you guys. Just like the actual design of these brushes make it completely worth it i really recommend the brushes because they're like gorgeous look at this the bristles are extremely soft but look at just look at the handle just look at the handle it screams by me i don't want to tell you guys it says encanto on it like it says alemar or disney encanto and has this little thing and then it says i'm everything um what does that say complexion brush and it has a little disney logo in the corner so I'm telling you guys, 100%, these brushes were actually worth it. They are super expensive. I'm not going to lie. Like, you know, cost you an arm and a leg. Like, <laughs> but I'm saying that it's they're good. They're nice. Um, if you can buy them, buy them. If you can't, don't worry about it, okay? You're not any less of a person if you can't afford to buy the dang brushes. It's not going to be like, I need them to survive. You don't need anything to survive but yourself. <laughs> But I'm just saying they are pretty. The next uh, one from that complexion set was this one. This is the highlighter brush. So the highlighter brush, yeah, I haven't used it. Like I said, I did use like three of the brushes today. Oh, no, it's the two brushes. So this one is I'm the Light. And just like the other one, it says highlight brush. It said the little Disney logo. 
and then it has the little um two-tone bristles which i honestly love it makes it look extra magical i don't know why but this one has says the same thing disney encanto and then it has this really foliage type of it has like a snake a butterfly some leaves and then this little i don't i think that's painted like gold foil it does say alamad right there the other brush has the same thing a little alamad logo right there i love them like i said they're super soft i didn't get to use them but i will be using them for the demonstration okay and then in a separate box they have the power trio eye brushes alamad right here on the bottom um hopefully you guys can see it and then in the back it just says be precise be consistent be bold so the be precise is a lining brush that one is right here i didn't use that one today but it is like a liner brush so you know if you you know how you see people create those little ones where they do like a line and they just pack it in they use these type of liner brushes i've seen them do it like i wish i was that precise i'm not okay and it says i make this what does it say i make this look easy so very very pretty be precise lining brush i love that they added what the brush is for y'all i am so bad at remembering what the brushes are for and i love that they added what it is for like you're telling me it's a packing brush and i'm like thank you i don't have to figure this stuff out like <laughs> now this one i used this one right here and right here when i created that halo eye and i did use it down here this bristles are so freaking soft i'm so grateful for that because it is a packing brush and i've had packing brushes that are like hard as heck man like what am i supposed to use this for <laughs> and says so it does say be bold packing brush it does have the little logo right there in the corner and it, it was two-tone all of them were two-tone this one's just been used so it, naturally it's going to be dirty you know but it is has really soft bristles I believe that these are vegan as well. It just says cruelty free, okay? That I know of, these ones did actually say that they were um, vegan bristles. Veg vegan, these vegan and synthetic bristles will blend your complexion. So this one, I don't know. It doesn't say in the back if it is or it isn't. Yeah, it, do it doesn't say for some reason. I don't know. Okay, so the last brush that I use is called Be Consistent Blending Brush. This is the brush that I use for my transition shade. And like I said, it is a two-tone brush. You guys just can't tell because, you know, obviously I used the color and it covered the, the top little purple part. But these brushes are so freaking beautiful. I 100% like recommend them. But like I said, if you can't afford it, then don't bother with it, you know. I understand more than anyone how expensive this makeup stuff can be. Honestly, I'm very impulsive in my buying and I do like payments and I'm not rich you guys I, I do discount codes and stuff like that. I'm not just like oh, okay And I've gotten to a point where I'm like really on a low buy, right? So I'm really careful I mostly try to concentrate on my most favorite brands So it's really hard to do because I have my friend from Fresno sending me like little posts from trend mood and stuff like that Have you seen this? Have you seen like B? Stop sending me stuff <laughs> you i'm like a recovering alcoholic and you throwing stuff at me stop doing this to me <laughs> she's horrible you guys <laughs> but she's my best friend for a reason okay so let's move on to the next product okay now we're gonna do um these are two lip liners long wear lip liners and one is called mira bella and the other one is called dimelo cantando which is tell me why you're singing and um, Mira Bella is like, look beautiful or look pretty, however you want to say it. I don't know. Sometimes Spanish words have like two different meanings. You guys know, like there's, like when you say break, I broke something like I, oh, it, it, it can break or let's take a break. You know, it has like double meaning. So Spanish words are pretty much the same thing. There's different ways to say thing with the exact same word. Like <laughs> it makes it hard to explain it to you guys. But yeah, so um, Mira Bella looks, it has, this is the handle, you guys, I'm going to show you guys, hold on, let me sit up this way so you guys can see. So this is how the actual lip liners look like, and you guys can clearly see that Mira Bella looks like this um, red, and this one looks more like a darker maroon bread maybe. We'll see right now because I'm going to do lip swatches for you guys, so you guys already know, this side just says the actual name of the... Like, this one says, you know, Mirabella. The other one says, um, 
Dímelo cantando. And it just says all the company's name. It does say that it's cruelty free. A la mar cruelty free. That's all it says. So I'm going to give you guys um, arm swatches real quick first. And then I'll give you guys lip swatches. I'll do a little, you know, what I usually do, which I give you guys a little close up. This one is the Mirabella one. So let me show you guys that. Ooh, you guys. I am not joking when I say that that went on like butter. <laughs> That is by far like soft. Oh my God. I'm so impressed by that because I can't tell you how many times I've had a lip liner and it tugs, it tugs at my lips as I'm trying to apply it and it's ridiculous, like hard. Nobody wants to feel that. Come on. Like, okay. So this next one is called Dimelo Cantando and this one is just like a darker, yeah, it's like a darker red, like a brick red. You guys ignore that little thing. You know, that's from the earlier. <laughs> that's from the earlier green. But look at these. These two are cute, right? Now, let's move on to the lip swatches. I'm going to do the lightest one, which is the more brighter red. And then we'll move on to this one. I'm just going to do like this, right? Like I always do. And then we'll move on to the next product, okay? So next, I'm going to talk about these ones right here. These are lip glosses, long wear lip glosses. The same thing. One is called uh, Mira Bella and the other one's called Dimelo Cantando. So I'm thinking they're just like basic um, lip gloss versions of what the lip liners are, right? And like I said, yeah, one looks obviously more red and the other one looks like a maroon red. Um, I'm hoping these are just... Yeah, they're just lip glosses. I'm thinking like, oh my God. That last one, Dimelo Cantando, is that maroon one with the lip liner. I'm telling you guys, that thing is hard to take off. Like, the packaging is beautiful, you guys. Honestly, when I took them out and I see, you know, obviously, Mirabella does look like a way brighter red. And then this one just looks more of like a mauve tone uh, purple right here, which is consistent with the actual little ones right here there's they're meant to match right like a matching set both of them which i like i i think it looks cute honestly this one is a little staining on the lips i had to use an actual makeup wipe to get it to remove just fyi in case i didn't mention it but i want to let you guys know that these smell amazing they smell fruity when i took them out it's a dofa applicator very very pretty i love the way it looks look and it's just very vibrant red so like i said how we usually do this i'm gonna start with the red one Give you guys a close-up like this and then i'm gonna do the other one but both of them pretty much smell the same they smell very very fruity very pretty both of them have a very um i want to say this one stands out way more with the glitter they have multi glitters in there this one has multi glitters but you can't really tell because the red is so vibrant and overpowering but both of them smell oh, like oh, skittles to me for some reason i don't know what it is but let me do little real quick um, arm swatches right here, hand swatches in the back of my hand. Um, they do feel kind of sticky on the sticky end, but we'll see right now when I do it on my arm, okay, on my lips, I mean. And then we'll compare them then. Like I said, this one looks more like a, between a mauve and a chocolate for some reason, this one. I'm, I was like kind of bummed out that it's not very, compared to how the actual lip liner is, you know, it would have been better if it would have been a little bit tinier, darker, maybe like a more burgundy deep wine red i don't know it's just not good enough for me that's what i'm saying so let me do the lip swatches okay so i'm gonna be real honest with these two products i think they smell great i don't like the feel of it on my lips it's very sticky it's like honestly i wouldn't say it it, it, it is bothering me but i'm not gonna say it's the worst but honestly look at it. it 
pretty sticky. It doesn't feel hydrating. It's just, it's just very sticky, ugly. It feels ugly on the lips. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> now, if you still want to buy these, buy these. Don't pay attention to me. I just, I honestly just like being honest with people. I don't like lying to people. I think they smell freaking, they smell like candy. They smell like fruit, fruity candy. Um, if I had to recommend one over the other, because honestly, I don't recommend either one. I think, I feel like you can skip this part of this collection because it's not something that you need. It doesn't feel amazing on the lips like other products that I've tried. But if I'm going to recommend one, I'm going to recommend the nudie one that I have on right now because I feel like it's more um, versatile. You can wear it with a lot of things versus this one. It looks like a kind of a cherry red. Uh, not really my thing. I go for more profound dark reds. And especially if it's a, a lip gloss, then it better be, feel amazing on the lips. This is just super sticky, not moisturizing. I don't really like it. <laughs> But yeah, you guys, let's move on to the next product, okay? Okay, so now moving on to the two blushes in this collection. One happens to be called Hermosa Rosa, and the other one is I'm Blossom. Uh, like the flowers that blossom for Isabella everywhere she goes, you too can bloom in any room with the smooth powder Colorate in the shade I'm Blossom. So let's try to open, see what they look like. <laughs> Um, I think one was like really, really deep rose. Yeah, this is like a really bright rose tone. Very pretty. I love the design like always, you know. They don't have a mirror in them, but the, this is such a cute design. Like, tell me you guys, this isn't cute. <laughs> this one, yeah, it's I'm Blossom. We're going to do uh, one demonstration of one of the blushes on my cheeks, okay? So we are going to do that. I'm just like, I think I'm going to go for the darkest one. Um, this one is called... Hermosa Rosa, which means beautiful rose. And then it comes exactly the same with the same little design and everything. This one's just more of a peachy tone. It's like a bright coral. I think I'm going to go for this one because this one is so freaking beautiful. The mirror says, yo creo en mi. Do you guys see that? That's freaking cute. Let me see if the other mirror. It says, this one says, uh, soy única, which means I'm unique. And... Creo en mí is, means I believe in myself, okay? So just letting you guys know. I'm going to do a little real quick with the this brush from the collection. I'm going to do a real quick demo just so you guys can see what this one looks like, which is the Hermosa Rosa on my cheeks, okay? Encanta. Oh my god, I love it, you guys. I love it. Look it. Look. I love this freaking tone. It's so awesome. It's like this beautiful peach tone, especially like on my skin tone. I feel like peach tones complement me a lot more, but I could still use this one, this pink one. That's still a passable tone for me. You will still be able to tell it would come out on my skin tone, which is great, you know, because now it gives more options. <laughs> But yeah, I really love that one. I love the the tone. It it's I had no problems with it, okay? Real quick, you guys, before I move on to the next product, I'm gonna give you guys little swatches right here on my arm. You guys know I'm not gonna talk, I'm just gonna say the name and call it a day, okay? So we need to hurry up. The first one I'm gonna do is this little corally pink one, or the, the dark pink one. And this one is I'm Blossom. See, I feel like this is still dark enough. See, it's still dark enough, you guys. Next one I'm going to do is um, Hermosa Rosa, which is the one that I'm wearing. I'm telling you guys, this, this tone is gorgeous. It's so freaking pretty. Look at it. So now I'm going to move on to the highlighter. So the highlighter comes like this, you guys. It is called Sun Soaked High Shine Highlighter and Flex Alert. For you, have if you've never seen the movie. The movie has um, an actual song in it from Luisa, who is saying, um, <laughs> she's basically saying, I'm the strong one. And you see that she goes like this, like I, she's flexing. And then I saw that and I was like, no wonder, it's called Flex Alert. <laughs> because it's like basically her highlighter, right? This is such a gorgeous highlighter. Let me just show you guys the front, look at it. 
and the back says flex alert when you open it it does have a mirror but the mirror has no no like little message but look at the dang highlighter like come on I'm also going to do a demonstration of this, okay? So let's move on to the demonstration. And then let me real quick give you guys a little arm swatch. Or well, my hand, back of my hand swatch, okay? Just to show you guys what it looks like on the skin. But it looks gorgeous. I'm not joking. Look at that. Look at that glare. <laughs> I love that. Okay, so let's move on to the demo, okay? y'all see that do you guys see that i really recommend this color it looks really pretty in person so yeah it's like a glare you guys see it like on the tip of my nose <laughs> i love this one i really recommend this one you guys if you guys can snag up this one and the blushes they're really pretty so let's move on to one of the last products before we get to the swatches already so here is the mirror you guys it comes in this huge thing and in the back it says, beauty is in the eye of the mirror holder. Y ese eres tú. That is you. We want you to always love what you see when you look yourself in the reflection, which is why you'll notice a sweet message on the espejito, which means mirror, to remind you of the magic within. El encanto eres tú means the enchantment is you. And then Madrigal Magic Mirror. That's what it says. Taking it out of this thing right here. Now, people were saying you can bend, like you can like sit up the mirror, which I thought it was cool. See, it's bent, it's bent like this. So you can have it like that, but you can also have it like this. Like it sits up right there. And it's completely plastic. The back is this butterfly design. Very, very pretty. And then this is the actual mirror right here. It says, El Encanto Eres Tú, a la mar on top. And El Encanto Eres Tú is basically like, you know, you're the you're the enchantment, you're the miracle, however you want to, you know, word it, phrase it. But that's basically what it means. So now I'm going to move on to the swatches. I'm hoping you guys snag the mirror if you guys can. I think it's gorgeous. It's got this little butterfly design right here. And when you bend it, look at the butterfly, it turns into like a little tabletop. So if you're like plucking your eyebrows, doing whatever, you can do whatever, you know. So yeah, move on to the swatches. <laughs> So now we're going to do the swatches real quick. I'm just going to go from one end to the other. I'm not going to talk because you already know. We already talked about the palette earlier. So yeah, just starting from here until we get to the end of this palette, okay? First one is called Encanto. That's the one that you guys saw that I used right here in the middle. It's very, very pretty. It's a perfect teal shimmer with uh, micro glitters in it. Next one is called Porque I Can, Because I Can. This is my inner corner highlight. It is like a foiled shimmer or a pressed pigment. If you want to call it a pressed pigment, I call them foiled shimmers. But in actuality, it is a pressed pigment. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's, a, it's like a lime green. It's very pretty. Next, you have another pressed pigment, which is Petal to the Metal. This one takes a lot of like actually digging into the palette to get it to show up so it's gonna need a lot of working just letting you guys know next you have rise and shine this is just a very regular shimmer very buttery smooth blinding gold next we have amor propio self-love this is that one that i used right here on the bottom okay this seems like a very dry formula shimmer, and it has micro glitters throughout it, okay? It looks like a berry tone red almost. Next, um, in the next row, we have that, I want to call it like a tawny brown yellow. <laughs> it's called Jaguar Parking. It is a matte, but it's on the softer side of matte. It almost feels like a cream to formula, to tell you guys the truth, which is weird. But like I said, it blended to perfection. I had no problems with blending with that one. And that was awesome. Next is Colombia, which is a green matte. This is that one that I said that I used right here and right here. 
this one does feel a little on the dry end, a lot of like grainy. But I had no problems with that, you know, like blending it. So I don't know what to tell you guys. I had no problems with it. Next we have a vine time. This is just an olive tone green matte. This one does feel a little on the dry end as well. Next we have Casita. This is uh, like a nude type of shimmer. Very buttery. Oh, I love that one, you guys. This is like a highlighter in itself. Last, we have Family First. This is a chocolate brown matte. Very, very pretty, you guys. And those are all the tone shades like of this palette, you guys. So hopefully, let me get my face out the way so it's not blocking and glaring out of focus. But it's, it is a pretty palette. Honestly, if you guys like these type of tones, I would say grab it. But, you know, if you don't want to, if it's too expensive for you, don't worry about it, right? It's honestly, it's just like a palette. You could totally dupe it out if you wanted to get, like, with ColourPop or whatever. Um, I got it mostly because it's Disney, and I'm not going to lie about that. <laughs> it's like whatever now, right? I got it already, and I bought it. I don't regret the mirror. I can tell you right off of the bat. And I don't regret the blushes or the, the brushes are beautiful. Like I said, the one eyeliner I really liked and the highlighter is gorgeous. This palette is just like the top on the cherry, right? On the cake or whatever. I don't like the lip glosses, so I would say skip the lip glosses. But at the end of the day, it's your choice, okay? So that's it for the swatches, you guys. Now let's move on to the tutorial. Okay, you guys, so for my first color, I'm going to go in with Jaguar Parking. This one right here. So it is like a tawny type of brown matte um very light but i wanted that on purpose because i was like you know i don't want to go too dark <laughs> i know i want color obviously i'm looking at those greens and i'm like oh i want to do those but i don't want to overdo it at the same time i'm going to be going in with their be consisting blending brush right here it's very very pretty brush these brushes are so freaking pretty you guys they're ridiculously pretty so yeah that's the one i'm going to be using for my transition shade okay And now I'm going to go in with that beautiful teal that's called Encanto. I believe it's a shimmer with glitter because it can see some type of glitter in there. But it's so gorgeous. You guys like, oh, I want to do that. <laughs> I'm basically going to take it with my finger and I'm going to apply it right here in the middle because I'm going to create a halo eye, okay? And that's what you guys are going to see me do. And now I'm going to take the color Colombia because <laughs> that's what it's called. It's this gorgeous emerald green matte and it's just beautiful. It's honestly, this is a gorgeous palette. I'm going to take that tone, um, that shadow, and I'm going to use this one that's called Be Bold Packer Brush, okay? And this brush is super gorgeous. It's like, oh my God, you guys, the bristles are ridiculously soft, right? And the way it's shaped, I would have thought that it would have been, like, harder. But it's a perfect brush for this type of, you know, application. So I thought it was, like, perfect. And I was like, you know what? This is a gorgeous brush. Like, the brushes are worth it. Don't, don't listen to me for that. <laughs> so you guys are going to take me to see that one. I'm going to pack it right here. And then right here, of course, you know, blending out as best as I can. I'm not a professional here, but that's what I'm going to see. That's what you guys are going to see me do, okay? And now I want to go in with this 
pretty shimmer. I want to call it like maybe like a, between a purple and a pink. It's called um, Amor Propio, which means self-love, basically. And I'm going to take it with my finger, and I'm just going to apply it right here on the bottom, okay? I also took that same um, green, you guys, and I basically just took very, very lightly, and I blended sort of the bottom of that pink just to not have any really harsh lines, you know? For my inner corner highlight, I'm going to use Porque I Can. Because I can. Porque means because. And it's a very brilliant, like very bright green. I want to call it like a lime green pretty much. It is a shimmer as well. <laughs> but this one looks more like, um, I would call it like a foiled shimmer. And that's what it looks like to me. And I'm just going to take it with my finger like I usually always do and just pack it in that corner right there, okay? Okay, and these this collection comes with two eyeliners. I want to try to do the emerald one, but like, I'm so used to using black, you guys. This might be terrible. Like, <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. This might turn out terrible. But for the sake of the video, I'm going to use it because it did come with the collection. They're, I, I don't know. I haven't used them anymore I, yet, I, I guess. But they look so pretty. I want to see if it comes out. It looks like a metallic green. Um, I don't know. It looks so gorgeous. I'm hoping that it'll show up in my eye look. But we'll see. They also have like this um, lilac one. The lilac one, I'm afraid it won't show up because of all the green that I already have on my eye. But I am going to give you guys a little real quick swatch of it. You know what I should just do? I should just like straw something on my face, you know? <laughs> That's what I think. I, I should just make get used to it and just draw something on my face. But either way, if you're the type of person that likes to like create little, you know, whatever on your face, then that would be a good idea, right? You can just do like a little flower or something. I would think, because I suck at, like, drawing stuff on my face. I don't know. That's why I'm, I'm not going to probably try it. But, like, you could if you wanted to, right? You could just, like, write something. Or, I don't know, you guys. I'm just saying. But I'm going to try to do that green one, okay? Right now I'm trying to do, like, a little flower. Watch it fail. And it's going to look like this huge blob on my face. Oh, God. Yeah, it looks horrible. It looks horrible, okay? <laughs> Let me do the green one, okay? So that is the eye look. I'm hoping you guys can see the detail. But that green is super pretty. It does show up. It does show up. <laughs> it's dark enough. It looks really pretty on the eye. I'm actually surprised, you guys. I'm hoping you guys can see it. I don't know. But, yeah. It's really pretty, right? It's a pretty eye look. I like it. Um, Let me finish this eye, and then I'll be right back to give you guys a complete close-up so you guys can see, like, the whole thing. But the little flower didn't. I mean, it's okay. You guys ain't gonna lie. I know it looks like crap. <laughs> I'll be back, Okay. So this is the finished eye look today. Hopefully you guys like it. I know I'm not the best, but I definitely like this palette. I think it's cute. <laughs> you can create a lot of cute like looks with it, I think so. So yeah, let me back you guys out and I'll give you my final thoughts on this palette. Okay, you guys, so I'm back. I can't speak for the entire collection right at this moment. You guys will most likely hear my thoughts as I go along during the video, like I always usually do, because the thing with tutorials is that I can only speak for the palette. So this is just my review on the palette. And in the beginning of the video, you guys will see my review on every single product that I'm testing as I'm going, right? My first impressions. But this palette is gorgeous. Like, look, just look at the, just the packaging alone. The packaging alone just blew me out of the water how they... It's so beautiful the way they, they created it. And I don't think any other company would have done as good as Alamada, like spot on for Disney. Because I've seen other companies do Disney and they just either don't do it or they do it enough to where like, okay, that's good. That's possible, right? But some of these companies, especially, I don't want to name names. Like <laughs> some of them are so bad. But I think that this one is just, it's pretty. It's really pretty. You guys, the matte, the matte that I used today, because I didn't use a whole, well, I used two of them. 
they're so freaking blendable just like the way i didn't have any patchiness um it's pretty seamlessly like they blend themselves out you know really easily and i love that because a lot of times where i've had where maybe one mat is just okay and then some it's always one mat that's patchy like pretty much in, in a especially if the company is not well known it's not really good quality kind of makeup it's kind of affordable but it's kind of cheap so it's like a hit and miss this one i had no problem that one like blended out like like just the beautiful powder on your face <laughs> just with by itself you know you didn't even need the brush you probably would have blended out with your finger i don't know but it's it just blended out so beautifully that one blended out really good i had no patchiness which i was kind of concerned because sometimes i've had where it's not Almar per se, I'm not talking about that company per se, but it's just, I've had the darker greens especially kind of be chalky on me a little bit, a little patchy, and that one didn't have any problems. This is such a gorgeous tone, you guys. I just love that, that they chose to name it Encanto because it's like a teal, and then it just has this little um, emerald blue type of thing going on with it. That is such a Y'all, my inner corner highlight, like, oh, I love that green. It's just this lime green standing out in your face, right? I would have loved to play with these tones right here, but I just didn't want to go all over the top and just make this crazy look, right? That makes no sense. I love that the way this looks right here because it's just, I wanted to incorporate some type of pink. I didn't want to go full on blue because then some of you guys complained that I just talked to the greens. <laughs> but these ones are so good i love that this one was like soft foiled shimmer but like butter that one these ones are definitely were more um tougher not not really like buttery smooth but it wasn't bad either not in a bad way i'm not saying it's going to tug the hell out of your skin it's not going to do that but these are so pigmented they stand out really really good and dang man if that thing doesn't have to take like it's awesome now i want to talk about the eyeliner real quick because i did go and test the eyeliner with you guys you'll probably hear my overall thoughts in the beginning of the video when i do them again but i really recommend the green one the green one looks really really good now something bad about the green one real quick it stains it stained my and i can't take that off anymore so you guys can hear that again in the beginning of the video but I don't recommend this one. I did end up taking that thing off. As soon as I saw the stains, I was like, oh, heck no, I'm not doing the video like that. I took it off. But the green one looks gorgeous on the eye. It does look like metallic green, and it just looks so beautiful on the eye. So I do recommend the green one. I don't recommend this one. Don't even bother with it. Just, what's <sighs> hot? I don't know. But I'm going to let you guys go, and you guys already know how this goes, okay? Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a new video. And until next time, stay warm, stay blessed, and stay magical. Bye, you guys.